Uh, greetings. This is a video walking through some of the concepts that we drew out of Writing Lab 1. I want to mark these for you and offer a couple of participation opportunities. First, we have the idea of concepts of writing as a process. That This involves, you know, writing a draft, revising, reviewing, editing, etc. But there are also some other concepts uh, that we need to talk about some more. What does it mean to invent, to compose, to create, to develop? What does it mean to review? What's the difference between critique and criticism? Uh, and, you know, how is writing a form of thinking, a form of cognition, as opposed to just filling in the form or create formatting pre-existing thoughts? Uh, how is writing not just about fitting with conventions, but how might it be about something else? We've also been working with concepts of rhetoric and argument, you know, which means we need to think about, well, what is rhetoric? What is argument? What are there other related concepts that I've begun to list here? And, you know, we've got Aristotle, Toulmin, and uh, some of you have started to work with Rogers uh, that we need to hear some more about. Uh, and so one of, the, one of the things that might be interesting for someone to pick up to reflect on uh, as an opportunity would be to think a little bit further about Aristotle, Toulmin, and Rogers. What do they have in common? How are they different? And you can look at some of the work we did in class on this a couple of weeks ago. So that's one opportunity. Uh, that's a point or two, depending on how deep you go. Uh, talk with me about that if you're interested in it. Also, we are going to talk about some concepts for reading. There's a video on reading in Writing Lab 2, and these are some of the concepts that Dr. Drodos and I talk about there, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be pursuing those as we go further. There's also a chapter in Barnett and Badeau that we haven't really worked with at all. Uh, a couple of you have referred to some logical fallacies, but if uh, one or two of you wanted to go through their massive collection of logical fallacies and pick like a top 10, you know, what, are, what seem like the most important logical fallacies to think about, but also, you know, what is logic? What is a logical fallacy? So that one's worth a point, possibly two points if you go in depth. Uh, we have been working with some concepts of concept, uh, Engels and Nietzsche, and I've tried to draw out some ideas here. Uh, and also, there are some concepts that I'd like to develop uh, in Writing Lab 2 to Writing Lab 3. You know, one has to do with some different ideas of authority, conventional versus critical authority. The, and in a nutshell, what is the authority of a king or queen? What is the authority of a doctor or an expert? Those are two very different kinds of authority. Uh, also, ideas around assessment. And there's a difference between criticism and critique. Criticism is a judgment where I apply values to something. Critique is an attempt to explain something that's there and to be more objective. Uh, questions about significance. We've been writing about the significance of concepts. We're about, about to get into writing about significance of issues. But in this case, are we just looking at personal judgment or what sometimes gets called opinion, personal criticism or personal judgment, uh, personal values? Or are we looking at a more contextual explanation? Right? Are we looking at explaining things in context? So you can see a kind of parallel between assessment and significance here. The difference between criticism and critique. The difference between judgment and explanation. The difference between opinion and science, if you like. Uh, there's some different ideas of revision that we should talk about. What does it mean to actually develop something? What does it mean just to follow somebody's comments and basically follow a program? What's the difference perhaps between active revision and passive revision. Uh, intelligibility is a concept that I'd like to get to. This is a complex concept that might take us beyond this class, uh, but it has to do with the difference between ideology and critical knowledge, or if you like, between opinion or mass opinion, opinion of a group, and the critical knowledge that experts might develop, or between conspiracy theories, a topic that we need to research and the knowledge that we can get from science, which is meant to go against conspiracy theories uh, or false beliefs. And there may be other concepts, but these are some I think would be important for us to think about as potential threshold concepts or really to begin to think about as critical concepts. I wanted to mark that you're also bringing in lots of really interesting concepts from other courses. Those traveling concepts are coming in. We want to think about how to work with them. And uh, there are some questions here that I've posed in terms of, you know, are threshold concepts conventional? Are they just normative? Do they just follow rules? Uh, how did they come to be the key concepts of a discipline? 
do they change over time as a field develops, right? Are the threshold concepts of, let's say, political science today the same as the key concepts of 50 years ago, 100 years ago? Are there new concepts in, let's say, political science than there were at that time? Have they become threshold concepts? And what could make a threshold concept, what we could say counter-conventional, going against convention? What could make a threshold concept transformative or critical that is not just conventional, following by what is expected, but how might threshold concepts become critical, going beyond what is expected? And this is what criticism does. This is what critical concepts do. They take us beyond our first impressions. Right? Uh, question, could a traveling concept become a threshold concept or a critical concept? Um, do you see what I'm talking about? And so an opportunity here, be if uh, one or two of you would want to come into office hours or make an appointment with me, we could talk further about this, maybe record our conversation, or you could write up some notes on it. Uh, and this would be another opportunity for uh, uh, participation. So this is a document on, you know, kind of summing up where we are, kind of laying a map for where we might go, uh, and I hope you'll find it useful. I'm posting it in the library folder in Writing Lab 2. Thanks.